Hello and welcome to another Spastic Kangaroo tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to import Blender uh, objects and with along with their textures and animations into Unity. And this was a request on Twitter. So let's get started. I've done a quick walk cycle. Um, this object, this uh, robot wasn't created by me. It was. Uh, on blend swap I'll have a link to it it's an awesome rig so uh, here's the walk cycle and save this and I am going to open up unity now Okay, so I've set up a plane and a camera, and I'm just going to take my Blender file, and Unity can take Blend files by default. And what I'll do is I'll take my Blender file and drag it into the Assets panel. Once you do that, once you do that, it should appear in the panel there it goes and you have this little arrow and you click on that and um, if you did have multiple objects in here you'll want to just grab the mesh but since I only have ju I've just the robot all I have to do is just drag him right here and position him and right now if you click play Uh, you'll see there are, first of all, there aren't any textures, uh, well, there's no light, but there aren't any textures, and the animation's not playing back. What you're gonna have to do is, actually, just let me add a light quickly so we can, uh, see when we do have a texture on it. So we're gonna add a directional lamp, which is just like a sun lamp in Blender my favorite kind of lamp ever. And what you're gonna have to do is Unity 4.0 has this new uh, feature called Mechanim, which is a really cool animation setup. You can choose when animations can play and you can limit like a uh, walk cycle to only when the person, when the player's on the ground so they can't walk in the air. And um, that's really cool, but there's an extra step now to importing animations. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create game object, uh, wait, no, asset, create, and you're going to create a an animator controller. And what you're going to do is just name it uh, robot controller. Name this whatever you want. Now you're going to drag it on top of the robot. So now when you go to to the inspector panel of the robot, you'll see this new animator. And right now if we click play, we're still not going to get anything because we haven't told it what animation to use yet. So let me reset position. Move this guy down. Okay. So what we're going to have to do now is go to the animator. And now at any state, we're going to use the animation and click the triangle right here and select the animation drag it right there and now when you go back and press play the animation will play back now it's not repeating because I haven't set to repeat and if you want me to I can do a tutorial on the animator request it in the comments but now what we have to do is add a texture and what we're gonna have to do here is I'm not sure why but for some reason it doesn't import the texture by default probably because the material isn't um, unity doesn't import blender materials which is fine because it's super easy to do all you have to do is uh, select the material um, 
go to the material folder, select the material, and we're going to select the base texture. Uh, actually, first of all, let's set this to a bump diffuse, uh, bump specular actually, because the um, object does, this mesh did come along with um, a bump map and a diffuse map. So let's add the diffuse map first. Base, I guess we'll just drag it into here then first. And it'll import. And then you're going to just drag this onto the base texture. So you can immediately see we've got the base texture now. When you press play, we will get the animation playing back too, along with the textures on top. And uh, if you don't know how to work with them, you can actually turn this up. Uh, that looks more metallic like that. That looks better. So that's how to import Blender files into Unity. Hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Share it with people who are also trying to learn Unity. Um, and request future tutorials in the comments. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.